Hey guys, this is Eskimo Poodle, and we are back with Let's Play Mega Man X on the Wii U Virtual Console. Last time, we took on Flame Mammoth Stage, which was pretty easy, mainly due to the fact that we had beaten uh, Chill Penguin's stage, which cooled it off a little bit. And, and we got some very good upgrades in there. We got the Flame Wave ability from the boss itself, which is a nice little fire attack that has a nice little fire wave when you charge it up with the brand new charged up X Buster that we got from this level. And we got a sub tank, and then we got two heart containers, one from him, and one from Chill Penguin. So that's awesome. And now we're going to go ahead and try one of the harder bosses in the game, in my opinion. Sting Chameleon. I'm not sure if I can beat this guy, but I will give it a shot. Also, we get another armor upgrade in here, so that's always nice. Now this level, nice and uh, foresty, and they got the wood choppers back, and I forgot about that little bush dude down there. And yeah, they drop out little uh, worms. There you go. Luckily our nice little purple charge shot is very powerful for dealing with those guys, so that's great. I love it. Yeah, those little guys, those little bushes, they will drop worms, and the worms do hurt you. They don't do any actual attacks or anything like that, but they will actually damage you every once in a while if you're just like walking on them. You want to be a little careful about that. Alright, now let's see here. Can I get this? I don't know if I can. Alright, now there is a heart container over here. And I probably can't... Yeah, I can't get it. Okay. So we'll come back to that later. But just know that it is there. And it'll be much easier to get later when we have actually beaten a different stage. But I just wanted to see if my jump would actually do anything to it at the moment. I didn't think it would, but it never hurts to try. By the way, if you're on the the wood when that guy chops it, you'll actually go flying along with the wood for a little while. So let's try that real fast. Yeah, there we go. And it'll just keep on going and going and going. And that guy wants to die. So there we go. Or you can just kill him like that, too. Ow. Okay, screw you. Laughing bastard. Anyways, let's go ahead and go up here. And this is where we're going to get... A trap. That's great. Or we get this guy, a boss. Uh, his only weak point is his little eye right there. And it's in your best interest to just charge up your attacks and attack him that way. And he does not have a health bar, so you don't know how um, much damage you're doing to this guy, which is unfortunate. But basically just dash under him. And, well, just keep on shooting his little eye. Yeah, sometimes he'll, his little uh, claw attack will grab onto the wall like that, and he'll pull himself forward, and you don't want to be in the way of that. Because that'll just, you know, screw up your whole day. I don't think any of the uh, attacks really do that much extra damage to him, at least not that I'm aware of. And yeah, that's what happens when he grabs you. So I'm going to go ahead and go back to... I guess that'll do some damage. Actually, it didn't do any damage that time. Okay, there we go. It has to be just right. Dang it. I want to see if ice will do any damage to him. Uh, yeah, I guess I had mentioned it. Uh, the shotgun ice will ricochet off stuff. It's put into three, or maybe not three, but a couple small projectiles that can hit other enemies. And you notice how he's smoky now? That means he is, well, closer to dead now than he was earlier. That's for sure. And he's going to start smoking more and more as we do more damage to him. Ow. Ah, I messed up on the timing right there, but oh well. Yeah, not really hard, just you just can't see his health. And if he does hit you, he will do a fair amount of damage, but you should be able to avoid most of, most of his attacks if you're not playing like a chump like I am. And luckily he can't seem to jump high enough to actually, you know, get us when we're on top of the wall. I mean, he jumps pretty high for a fat guy, but just not high enough, I guess. And he's not using his uh, grab the wall attack as much as he normally does. I, th I think he can actually jump right on me when I'm trying to avoid him. 
I think he, I think he can actually extend it all the way across, grab the wall, and drag himself across like that. But he's just not doing it today. Eh, he didn't drop any health. But he did drop a Dr. Light capsule. Very nice. Uh, it contains a new type of body armor. It will reduce damage to your system by 50%. Nice. So we take much less damage. And this is going to be our final armor upgrade. Or our final suit upgrade, I guess. And this manifests in the form of, well, looks like shoulder guards to me. Or shoulder pads to me, but oh well, it works. And yeah, we're not stuck here. It's just not letting us go anywhere. Now, if I remember correctly, and I probably don't, well, these little golem dudes. Okay. Can we, there you go. Now, I want some of the. Some, sometimes rocks will fall from the ceiling that aren't the golems. And I seem to remember that the helmet upgrade that lets you break rocks also uh, protects you from damage from that. But I'm probably wrong. And, you know, that did not work out very good. You guys can drop any health you want now. That'd be great. These guys, they will occasionally peck out um, worms. And the worms have a pretty decent chance of giving you health and stuff. So if you wanted to stand here and hope for some health refills, that's not a bad idea. Okay, that was different. I don't I didn't think they threw him like that, but okay. Maybe they do it every once in a while? No, screw you. There you go, that's what I need right there. Come on, hit, hit me with another one. Oh, and you, two little worms, go away. You got a lot of health there, little woodpecker dude. Yeah, watch out for those little bushes hidden behind the bushes. They'll just screw with you like that. Yeah, screw that guy. And a life, which I don't really need, but it's okay, I guess. Let's see, I know further along there's a guy with a suit, so we'll deal with him when we actually get to him. For now, let's go ahead and damage that guy. Luckily in the suit, you don't take any damage, just the suit takes the damage for you, so that's nice. Uh, that's, ah, come here, punch him. Alright, uh, punch him, punch him, punch him, punch him, punch him. There you go. That works out great. Die you. And let's go ahead and... Get up here, get our sub tank a little fuller. Not a whole lot, you know, enough. By the way, in case I never mentioned it, which I don't think I did, when you want to jump out of the, uh, the suit, press up and then jump, and that'll let you out. So, a good way to get um, a good jump height is to jump and then jump out like that. That'll give you a decent uh, jump height. If this guy lets me attack, that'd be great. And I think another guy... Yeah, there we go. There you go. Got him. And yeah, the suit will start smoking when it gets to the point where it's almost about to die. But I'm not too terribly worried about that, since well, we're at the boss right now. And like I said, this guy will be a challenge. So I'm going to go ahead and charge up my attack right now. Hopefully I can get him. I don't think I have very much in the way of my sub tank being filled, but oh well. Yeah, Sting Chameleon. And he did that. And he did his bullshit attack right off the bat right here. That little, uh... Ceiling drop attack, uh... What is it? Stalactites? Yeah, he does a pretty fair amount of damage, and he doesn't take a lot of damage, which is unfortunate. And you're not really safe from his attacks anymore, because he got that tongue attack, which is powerful, and goes very good distances. See, I might not be able to defeat him. He's already done half my health, and I've done none of his. Now, if you can get him with a, a good charged-up Mega Buster, that's awesome, but it's still not going to do a whole lot of damage. Got him, okay. 
The main problem, like I said, is that dang stalactite attack, where he does damage to the entire screen. Luckily, you can avoid his little tail attack right there. That's nice. And he's got the spikes on top, so you can't just stay up there and spam uh, jumping away from him. And yeah, he's going to kill me right now, but maybe we'll have better luck next time. We only got halfway down. But yeah, very tough boss in my opinion. And let me check my uh, sub tanks here, see how much energy I have. Ooh, almost a full. It might actually get me pretty close to a full life bar. So I'll definitely use that on this guy. If the fight's going well, if I'm if I'm down to like two slivers of health and I haven't done any damage to him, I might just ignore it and then just wait for later because I got plenty of life slits left right now. Okay, here we go. Yeah, full charge purple attack did like what two bars of damage to him? It's ridiculous. Luckily, his invisibility isn't all that great. There we go. Yeah. yeah. Do it okay, not great, but thought so for a second I thought he died there because he stopped doing an attack, but now he was just being a little putz. Yeah, right, let's see here, come on, let's go. Oh he's stayed up there doing that attack, which is good because he's not doing the stalactites, but at the same time. That does have pretty good range for where it hits, because you got to be in very specific spots to be able to avoid it. And he's just going to spam his tongue at me, screw you. Now you can avoid the selectites like I did there, but in my opinion it's more luck than anything. I mean, you have to actually know where they're coming from, and I don't have them all memorized. We should be able to beat them though, we're actually doing pretty good. Okay, as long as he doesn't tug me to death, we should be good. So yeah, definitely one of the harder bosses, in my opinion. And we don't have his weakness yet, so that helps. And you know what? I'm going to go ahead and try to use my... Oh, don't tell me I can't use it unless it's full. Oh, never mind. Okay, I had to press the shot button. Okay. That scared me for a second there. Of course, if I die now, we'll be screwed, but oh well. Got him. Okay, we're doing pretty good. I think we'll actually get him. Got him. Nice. Okay, only my second shot. Perfect. Yeah, his weakness is from... I think Boomer Kowanger. But we don't have that yet. But his uh, a weapon that we get is actually pretty good. Mainly for its charged attack. Chameleon Sting. Got a nice little uh, upgrade look going on there. I like it. I'll take it. Why not? There's our password. And now let's go ahead and check out the... Uh, the... Um, weapon he gave us, just because it is pretty nice. There it is right there, now we shoot it, and it does the same thing as his tail, well, if it lets me. It splits off into three little shots, so that's really nice. And then, if you charge it up, it does something even better, and you turn all sorts of chameleon -y colors, and what that means is you can't be hit right now, so you're invincible. Yeah. I like it. Lucha Bueno. So yeah, one of the, one of the better um, boss moves for sure. Just for the invincibility that it gives you. Unfortunately, if you try to switch to another weapon, I don't think you... One, I don't think you can. And two, if you can, it'll just uh, make it so... Okay, I was wrong about the whole blocks not damaging me thing. But oh well. Yeah, if you try to switch to another weapon, it'll just, uh... Yeah, I see. Oh, now I took damage because I wasn't invincible anymore. But... Yeah, if you try to switch to another weapon, the invincibility wears off. Why hit me? You can't, sucker. Hey, hey, I got you. 
and it doesn't last too terribly long, but it lasts long enough to get you through a couple areas that would otherwise be a little more difficult. But anyways, that is a Sting Chameleon's weapon in the level, so we're going to get out of here. And next time, we're going to go ahead and take on... Let's see, what, who should we take on next? We're not going to take on the password screen. Uh, let's see, I'm trying to see who we got the weakness of. Um, let's go ahead and take on... Spark Mandrill. Why not? Actually, no, let's not take on him yet. Let's take on... Uh, launch Octopus. I know his weakness, but... Okay, let's go ahead and take on... Uh, we could take on Armored Armadillo. You know what? We'll just do Spark Mandrill and come back for the extra stuff that we're not going to be able to get right away. So, guys... Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Have a good night.